Hey everybody, welcome to week number two of our everyday mulemanship challenge for 2020. Um, those of you that followed along with our week number one challenge, uh, I'm, I appreciate you guys committing and I really appreciate you guys that uh, emailed in and commented. Uh, those of you that followed on Facebook commented. We had a lot of you uh, committing and a lot of you have a lot of pretty good goals, so I'm, I'm impressed. So for week number two, my challenge for you guys is to approach your mules with quality and catch with quality. Uh, first impressions make all the difference in the world, um, especially with mules. So I'm gonna kind of walk into this pen of my mules here. Sky, you can pan over there, see our mules here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in here and uh, just kind of show you uh, a couple little things that I do and and this might be some good winter tips for you guys as well I know it's cold for a lot of you and a lot of you don't have much time so this is something you guys can easily do this week and something that you guys can kind of make a habit of and and keep doing so every day when I walk out uh, before I even open the gate I'm watching my mules so as I look over here that mule just kind of boss chrome there and um, the rest of these mules, they kind of got their eye on me. Foxy's here at the gate, which is amazing. Uh, I don't know that that will last when I open the gate. But uh, anyways, I'm just paying attention, okay? So one of the main qualities I've noticed in every good horseman and every good muleman is that they pay attention. And they pay attention to detail. And uh, I, I miss a lot of things, and you're going to miss a lot of things too. But anyways, I'm watching. Um, I have my halter here, but just because I have my halter in doesn't mean that I'm going to catch anything. Uh, I see a lot of mules that they know you got a halter, like Foxy right here. She knows I have a halter, and she's going to head out. Um, it's important too, as you come on in. It's important as you come to the corral even if I had some intentions like I wanted to catch one of these mules I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, get after it what I mean is sometimes we come in here with with a mind like we're gonna catch this animal and and we're gonna get something done here but you don't always have to do that so these ones coming up here these are these are my main animals this is Riata right here and this is Tina um, you notice I got a halter here, and yet they're still coming up to visit. They're they're interested in being caught, um, but when I approach them, I I don't have anything on my mind. I'm not trying to get them caught. I'm not trying to get something done here. And this is Hazel. This is one we're working on, and uh, she always likes to come up and be caught too. She's pretty good. But anyways, if you can if you can kind of come around here, Sky, I'll. I'll maybe put a halter on Hazel here. So one thing I'll do here, and and I might do this with another mule here in just a minute, but I'll show you with Hazel here. When I walk up to her, I have my halter. I'm ready to catch her. I got my lead rope on my arm, my halter's here on my arm. And as I walk up, I'm going to pet her on the shoulder here. And first thing I'm going to do is hand the halter under the mule like this. Now I like the halter with some quality. I'm always treating my mule as if they're something finished even though they're not. This is just a two-year-old, but I'm going to treat her as if she's just a regular old bridal meal for me, okay? So I'm going to tip her nose here a little bit to the left. I'm going to catch her nose like this. I'm going to continue to keep her nose tipped here, and I'll go ahead and tie it off. Now this is something that you guys can do here. If you guys got some meals that are maybe a little bit hard to catch, just go out and catch them. And see, but usually they're used to you just taking them out the gate and go get to work. I'm going to take her out further out in the pen. So I'll just walk right here, and she's like, what are we doing? Where are we going? Aren't we, do I have somewhere to go? And I'm going to stop, and I'll, when I go to take the halter off here, I'm going to, I'll move around so you can see in the camera. But I'll tip her nose here again to the left, and I'll go ahead and just take her halter off. So I put the halter on, and I take the halter off with quality. When I let the nose go, I continue to hold the neck. I don't want my, my mules to ever get in the habit of just taking off. All right, now I'm going to catch uh, this mule over here. His name is B.A., and, and he usually doesn't like to be catch. He like to be caught. Look at his ears already. He's like, don't come over here. 
poor guy he's probably been just hammered on a bit when he's been caught just rode you know i don't know rode hard i don't know what the deal is but he he kind of you know he really doesn't like to be caught he's getting a lot better than he was but let's just see what he does as i, as I approach him again another tip for you is as you approach the mule don't expect anything don't expect him to be good to catch don't expect him to run off just take it moment by moment so i'll walk over here and and see what he has to offer me here so he's already he already says i'm gonna head on out um i'm not gonna try to cut him off here and you'll notice he kind of wants to hide behind these other mules see how he wants to avoid no problem i'll just walk along with him i'm not trying to cut him off i'm not trying to chase him and this is something that I do this, what I'm showing you here, I do this every day with this mule. Uh, even though he's here for training, I do this every day uh, otherwise to get him to where he's a little bit better to catch here. So now he's kind of facing up. He's kind of watching me here as I walk up to him, but he's like, no, I'm going to I'm gonna flee the scene. And you notice all the, all the other mules around here, they're all surrounding us to be caught, but he's, he's not interested. So as I walk up to him here, I'm not gonna catch him right off the bat. So a lot of people, when they got something like this, it's a little challenging to catch. They're wanting to get up there and well, I finally got him, I'm gonna throw the halter on. So I'll just walk up to him like this and I'll just pet him. And I might just back off now and just leave him alone here. So I'll just take a step back and, and I'll leave him be. Notice how he kind of followed me with his eyes there for a minute. He's kind of like, oh, geez, this is weird even though it's happened to me every day for the last couple weeks. I'll walk back up to him and I, he needs to get comfortable with just somebody walking up to him like this. See how he, I notice that he leans away from me. You probably can't see it very well in the video, but his, his lips are kind of twitching and getting a little tight. And that's all stuff that has to do with anxiety. I, and then as I back away, he'll get a little more comfortable and it wouldn't surprise me, you know, you back away and he, you know, a mule like this would start licking his lips or something. He'd feel more comfortable with you backing away. But I'll come back in here and just as I walk up to him, just notice the, you know, I just notice wherever he's getting tense. Um, sometimes he'll swish his tail, you'll notice. You notice his tail gets a little bit busier as I get up here like this. When I back away, I watch what he does now. I'm always paying attention to these expressions all the time. Say so he's kind of looking like, what, what are you going to do? So I'll walk back up again and I'll catch him. I'm going to go ahead and get his nose. I'll tip him here to the left. Like I said, every time you put a halter on, try to halter with some quality. Hazel, you can go. Get out. Hazel's like, you can pick me. I'll gladly go. I'll tip, tip his nose here to the left. I'll catch him. Keep his nose tipped to the left. Every time. I want some quality here. I want some softness. I don't want to have to hold him there. Okay. And now he thinks he's caught and he thinks we're going to go ride and work real hard. So... I'll just take him over here. I might take him to the gate. Get out of the way there, Breeze. Good girl. I'll come over here to the gate, and he thinks he thinks we're gonna go somewhere. He thinks we're gonna leave, and Hazel wants to come so bad. You can stay here. I'll kind of drive her away, and I'd like her to give me a little space. So I got one that doesn't want to be caught, one that wants to be caught too much, so if that's such a thing. Anyways. Now I'm just going to take his halter off here at the gate. Again, keep him bent here. I don't like to take the halter off. I'd like to take the halter off and have him just, just head on out. So see how he's wanting to leave again. So I'm just going to let him walk here for a minute. And we're going to catch him again. This is something you can easily do. I know you guys are cold and I know it's winter and you don't have much time. So see how he's wanting to avoid me again. I'll just go with him. But if you have something at home that's hard to catch, or even if you got something at home that's real good to catch, it doesn't matter. Do this so they don't get sour thinking that every time I get caught, I have to work. So I'll come up and I'll, again, I'll just walk up to him and I'll just pet him. And notice the second I touch him, his, his tail gets to swish in here. He gets a little bothered. I'm paying attention to all those things. And over time, it'll get better. But you need to be aware. You got to observe, and then you got to remember how things were, and then you got to compare next time. Every day should be a little different. I'll bring him back around here, and I like to tip him here a little bit more. 
get his nose caught, get him caught here, and again I'll walk him over to the gate. <clears throat> Appreciate Sky filming, even though she's being surrounded by mules here, it kind of makes it hard to film when you got all these other mules that want to be around you so much, but it's a good thing, I can't complain. Again, I'll take him to the gate. He thinks we're going to work. I'll just take it off. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Now, other things that you can do in the winter time with catching them like this is you can just, you could, you might not have much time. I know you're going to get home from work late tonight or whatever, but catch them, take them out, and just tie them up and let them have a bite of a grain or something and and let them be and then put them away it doesn't have to be work every time but that's my challenge to you guys for week number two of this of this deal is to come out and catch your mules every day get out here and catch them every day and even if that's the only time only thing you can do that's all you have time for is to just get out here and catch them it it makes it worth it uh, to spend a little time with them and I want you to observe them get real good at observing seeing how they feel when you're around them seeing what's going on when you approach them every everything from the gate to putting the halter on to let them go so anyways hope you guys are enjoying this challenge it's going to get fun all year long I'm going to give you these little challenges like this by the end of the year we're going to have some really cool stuff built it's just little stuff a little out of time uh, but if you could please comment if you're watching this from Facebook, comment on the on the comments below. Let us know what you think of this and let me know how your meals are doing. If you're watching this from the email that we send out every week, uh, reply back and let me know how you're doing. So thanks for watching. God bless you. Good luck.